Hey, what's up guys? It's Hayden here, back at you with another video, and today we're looking at another road deck, one that I've been going to play, I've been playing a couple tournaments and finding some, like, small success at locals. Um, I came third with Zoroark Garboder at our, a small league challenge, and I've been seeing some success at locals. So, to start off, Zoroark, you guys probably already know what Zoroark does, but I'll just explain it. Trade, basically, it's really good, it allows you to thin a card and draw two, so you can get pieces, all your pieces, for the turn, and just draw, and that's pretty much it for trade, and thin the deck for later turns when there's a judge, and yeah, trade just draws cards and thins, so it's really good. Riot Speedy, so it does 20 for each Pokemon in play, so you can swing for 120 or 150 to Choice Fan. Don't play Devour Field or Kukui, so that's a maximum output. And Trickster, we're not going to use Trickster. And it also has 210 HP, so it can tank a little bit, play Ace Rollers. And Fine Weakness means that it'll go down Buzzwell. Psychic Resistance means that something like a Giratina will only hit us for 110. Alright, so Zorak always has a partner, so in this deck, we're going to play Garboder. Garboder, first attack. Trash Lanch. There's 20 for each item in your opponent's discard pile. So, for an alternate Cosma, we need 8. For a Lele, we need 7. For a Picaram, 8 with a Choice Band. For a Le for a alternate Cosma, 7 and a Choice Band for Lele, 11 and a Choice Band for Picaram. So, items do add up really quickly, and for just one energy, you just knock out Pokemon. And Acid Spray is actually pretty good too, if we're facing something like Buzzwall, because sometimes your Buzzwall players can play around their um, items, and what you can do is if you just attach it in an earlier turn, and then you can Acid Spray with Choice Man, will do 200 damage. So Acid Spray is sometimes relevant. It's also sometimes relevant against Celesaur, because sometimes you want to just flip and then hopefully discard a DC. And then we play three Trubbish because you want to have the board state where you have two Trubbish down and threaten a drop order kill. So you always want to have more Trubbish. And one Orang group just for stall. Sometimes we burn too much resources early. We just want to reuse it. Ditto. It's, it's good. It's an extra Grimer. And Muck is really good in this deck because basically shuts off Jirachis, which is really important in that in the Jirachi matchup. Two Lele's, because we want to get our Lilies. Play four Lilies, so we can get some eight cards for the first start. Play a Judge, so that we can reset our opponent's hand, and then we can come back, or in a game, if we're behind, or we can just make sure your opponent does not have an out. Three Guzmas, want to be hitting stuff with Zorak, because it's, it's not like Zorak where you can take long shots really early. It's more late game, so you want to use them in the early game. One Cynthia, you want to have at least a couple shuffle draws. Two Acerolas. In the Zorak mirror, Acerola is really key. Or if they just can't one shot, you just want Acerola. Refresh the damage. Two Viridian. We're not playing Devoured Field. 130 is not too relevant when you have Garp hitting Buzzwells for weakness. So. Viridian Force is pretty good here. We don't play um, Kikui either, so Viridian's good in this deck just to get our second out. Yeah. For Ultra Ball, we want to get Pokemon out. Switch, sometimes we need to switch. Rescue Stretcher, get Pokemon back in shut, and allow us to like make sure we have the garbs out. Very Pokecom, basically allows us to get more Pokemon. One Power Pad lets us get more, more supporters. 4 Nest Ball, 2 Mysterious Shredder for more Pokemon, 1 Field Blower, Discard Tools, 2 Choice Bands to add damage with, to Garp, 40 Cs to attack with Zork, 4 Psychic Energies to attack with Garp. That's usually not the case. Okay, we're gonna face Psychic gr Water Grass. Just thinking, I don't know offhand what deck that is. Psychic Water Grass. Just, do you know what deck that could be? Um, best deck in the format. 
Вот так. Okay. Not sure what the water is or the grass. This is a pretty good start. We got the lila the, the lily. So we're gonna start zero because we're gonna go first, which means we'll get the attack first, so putting so we'll be able so putting up the attack at first is always good. Go second, guard trebuchet might be good too. So that one will knock out. Okay, so it's lost march. Don't know what the water is. Not hundred percent sure what that is. So just I'm just gonna lily for four here. Lost march is bad matchup in general. Um, I'm gonna bench Pokemon. Don't know if the grimer will be too relevant. I mean, it shits off a couple stuff. But I don't think I have to get it to put it down right away. Um, I mean, it seems okay. I'll pass. So, the thing that's awkward is it's a bit better matchup compared to um, Lycan, Zoro Lycanroc. Because we can swing for one prizes. And Garbodor is going to be really relevant too. Opponent seems to already have something going on with the uh, Natu. So if my opponent actually kills Azura, we'll be in trouble. It's always possible. Because these Lost March decks are really consistent. My opponent. Is that two item cards? So we're already one shy. Well, it only takes one item card to watch on that too with Sor with Garbodor. So two more and we will be one shotting um Jim Bluff. Okay, so they play Ring Group. So I guess Garm is okay. My opponent will fail the Trambuke. Can't do any damage to me because I have resistance, so that's good about Zura. My opponent's gonna use Nuzzly Gathering and then probably use his Pokemon communication, get out a hop it. I'm most likely gonna judge here. I could trade into a DC, but I could whiff it. Actually, I think I could play here. It's actually just a trade before judge, because what could happen is I could basically get the knockout, and then, or I could just, if I whiff, I could always just um, reduce my up the Rangeru. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't need a bench Lele. Because I don't want it to be like awkward. I'm gonna put down the Zorak. I'm gonna trade. I think I'm gonna trade the Acerola here. And that's okay. The judge is always useful. Get the muck. That's pretty good. I'm gonna trade the Ultra Ball because I can always use Pokemon communication. And it looks like I whiffed, so I will be doing the play I said earlier, where I'm just gonna go for like a Zuru or something. Muck and then give some up the Ranger. Oh, my opponent whiffs. Or I, I could judge, but then I don't. It'll be kind of unlikely. So I think this is an okay play. I also know that Lost March only plays like one or two, like two or three Guzmas. So forcing my opponent to use Guzma or Switch is pretty good for us. Could be a good for like stalling them later on and, and kind of getting rid of the Guzma is also kind of good 
So my opponent's going to use the Pokemon communication for the jump left, or for the skip lead into jump left, making it do 60 damage total. So my opponent can knock out anything except for Zora, Colt is not to. Or, yeah. Actually, no. My opponent needs one more to knock out Azura. There's a grass energy. Yeah, pass. That is what to expect with these kind of decks. Lost range. Okay, so get the DC off that. It's pretty good. I don't know if I don't think a Ranger is too relevant, so I'll just trade it away. Might be good, but um, I don't want to hold it. Um, Fuel Blower is, oh, is not great because I can pretty much just KO stuff anyways. So if they attach a Fuel Blower to Pokemon, I can just KO it afterwards. And then I'm going to hold the Garb until I'm going to actually use it. So I'll just Rice Beam for Knockout. My opponent will do some damage. Well, the good thing again about this is I'm ahead. Taking prizes. Okay, my opponent's going to start Molga. And we'll see. My opponent cannot use the Nuzly Gathering. Because I do have the Muck Up. So it's going to be harder for my opponent to set up. Because a lot of the Pokemon communications won't stick. There's a Guzma. My opponent's going to knock out the muck. I'm fine with that. I'm going to br probably bring up the garb. Take a knockout that way. Don't want to play Lily. Like, um, don't want to play the what's it called, the Lele. I'm going to Lily for some cards. I'm going to trade the Lele. Don't want to play it down. Don't really want to discard anything right now. So I'll just knock out. So, looks like we'll just be trading prize cards for a little bit. Actually, maybe not. My opponent only has four. So my opponent has to find something for the Natu, too. Yeah. I didn't rescue strike during the Oranguru because my opponent actually does still have abilities. So I, I could have actually got out the muck, but I kind of wanted to wait until my opponent killed the garb. So there's a kill. I think it's safe to bring up the Zark here because I don't think my opponent can actually knock it out right now. So, what I'm probably going to do is, I'm going to, if I have Rescue Stretcher now, that means I can I can only play about two more guards down, but if I wait till, actually no, that's irrelevant. Um, okay, I'll trade, I'll start trading. But I'm most likely going to use him up the hot bit so that my opponent can't really, it'll be harder for my opponent to increase damage. We get the Garb Loader. Don't want to play it down until we can ensure it. I can only do about two more attacks with it. So I, don't, I think I'm safe to discard a Psychic here. Yes. I'm going to discard Lily Psychic. That's a for another Zark. Probably should have rescue shattered beforehand. But it's okay. It's 
my opponent will be a while before my opponent can actually kill me. And then, can't use muck. Actually, probably can to have ditto. So I'll get the muck and the trubbish. So I do have ditto. And then, I won't play it down because I can always, I have two more in deck. I have two gargoyles in total, so yeah, I'll just get the hop it and then just limit my opponent's damage I put. Not sure if it's a good play to earlier to get use the garb, but I guess it's okay. Forgot to power pad, that's a minor misplay. I was gonna do that this turn, I just forgot. So, Pal Pad would have been pretty good. Probably gonna Pal Pad for, I'm guessing, Guzma Ace Rolla? Or Judge Ace Rolla? Because my opponent, I'm mostly just gonna be KOing the thing that they promote. Honestly. My opponent needs a lot to KO me. Yes, ma'am? Okay, mom. Um, Pass me your okay. laundry and then do your laundry. I'm recording. Ready? Can you wait a second? I'm recording a video. Okay, I'm not ready. Come on. There's gonna be background noise. Okay. Okay, so it's my turn. Sorry, my mom's just getting out my laundry. Um, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna just knock out. Or I think I'm just gonna pal pad here. Get out the ace roller judge. Because I don't see myself guzmaning very much anymore. Bench the trubbish. There's no real issue in benching it. I'll trade the choice ban. Because my opponent doesn't play GXs, so there's no point in putting it down. I could bench the extra trubbish, and then that could be okay. But I don't know. I think I still want to trade here. Yeah, I feel like no, I'll bench. I'll bench this, and then I'll just knock out. Saving the garb for later. Only dealt 60, so my opponent's probably dealing 80 now because resistance. So my opponent 110 with choice span. So my opponent's gonna have to get. Um, my opponent pretty much needs to hit a lost blender. Lost blender would be knock, and yeah, that's game. So, my opponent didn't draw too well, but if you can kind of just tank, Jor can kind of just tank in that matchup, so if your opponent's not drawing like crazy, then you can do well. Let's get into the next one. It's a good game. Okay, so, Lightning, Grass, Fighting, Psychic. Lightning, Grass, Fighting, Psychic. Maybe it's like a Vega Volt deck with uh, Marshadow. That's what I think it might be. Okay, so we're gonna get Mulligan. My opponent now knows that there's Psychic Energies and there's Zora. So my opponent will either assume it's Zoro Bennett or it's Zoro Garb. So, but we're, we're gonna bench this, this the Garb loader. I'm debating putting up the Garb in there just because my opponent will knock it up. I think it's okay because we can just chip anyways. So we're just gonna bench them because my opponent can let loose depending on what deck they're playing. So it's Shuckle. So it looks like maybe Stalvac. Against Shuckle. Shuckle's ability is annoying 
but I play Muck, so I just need to get uh, Grimer Ditto turn one, and I should be okay. Trace Helmet, that's annoying. Two. Escape Rope, it's bad. Sure. Marsh Shadow and Stealth does not seem like does not quite make sense. It's confused. I'm confused. Maybe this is a rogue deck. Psychic energies. Assuming it's kind of a rogue deck kind of thing. So we get Nest Ball Ultra Ball. So I, I know I'm gonna play the Nest Ball. Don't know what the Ultra Ball. So I think an important card to get out is gonna be the Grimer. I'm gonna wait on the Ditto because my opponent could just excuse my out. I'm gonna wait for the Ditto only when I need it. So I'm not gonna attach to Zero because I think my opponent's playing Stall. So my opponent probably has Enhanced Hammers. So I get Pokemon Communication, that's okay. I could always Pokemon Communication get Zerua. And then maybe Cynthia. But I'm not sure if I like that. I mean I could probably just KO the bench with the Guzma. So I think that's okay. I'm just gonna hold on to my hand. Probably, I'm probably just going to go for Zoroark, Ultra Ball, and something else. I need one more card. I need one more basic. Okay, so I have it. Okay, I'll go for Zoroark. communication here because any basic is welcome okay I think I'm gonna ultra ball the Cynthia and the Kuzma so next turn I can use Mallow, and then I'll re and then I'll use my and then I'll pop at it. I'll go for another Zura. Zura. Orangaroo. TC. Kuzma. Palpad. I'll hold on to the trade. And then knock out. Okay, so going up one prize card is always good. Easter roll is a big card. I'm gonna go for the two shot. I'm gonna to need to bench one more Pokemon if I wanna guarantee the two shot. My opponent's going to peeking right card, that's really annoying. Okay, but I draw into a pretty good hand, because I got the basic. I got the basic, and then I can get the memo, so it's pretty, it's a bit better. So triple poison. Or actually, depending, I'll trade. Actually, now that I think of it. I can just get the two shot without using Mallow. I could just judge here. Or Acerola. I think I'm gonna Acerola because it looks like I'm gonna have a bad hand because my opponent didn't play anything off the air because 
so I'll trade. And then I will I'll hold I'll Lele Acerola and then I'll Pokemon Communication the Trubbish get a muck and then trade away the tr ditto because it's useless with one mucks at in there. So I'll Acerola. It's a powerful turn. DC Muck Trade The Trubbish. So if my opponent does not find anything, I can just win. So we got pretty lucky off that peak and right guard gain the Lele and then the Pokecom. For four cards, two card combos, like three cards, were right. Opponent's gonna use Lavender Town in the interesting stadium. Check. We got Pal Pal in the Scar Pal, it's relevant. Okay, so my opponent's gonna live. I'm really confused about this tech. Maybe I should have saved the Ace Rolla for when he uses a GX attack, but I can always use one and then hold for DC, so it's okay. There's Choice Helmet. That's good for my opponent. That means I cannot easily KO the Tapu Koko. Boost helmet making my attacks do 30 less damage from the GX. Guzma, looks like my opponent's gonna just Guzma, Travis, just wait. Interesting. I mean, I could Guzma here, but then that wouldn't take me anywhere. I'll just check my opponent's hand. My opponent has Cynthia, Tate, and Liza, and an escape rope, which means that my opponent does not have Acerola available to him. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm probably going to let him kill, or I'll, let me just trade. I, I need to trade first. Okay, so DC. Looks like my opponent's going to use this kind of stall tactic a lot in this game, the Guzma. So I'm just going to Guzma. I'm just going like, to put some resources back in for next turn. And then next turn, and then I can pretty much Guzma later. And then I'll put the Pal Pad, the Guzma, and the Ace Roller back. Three span, not too relevant. Two shotting, anyways. Okay, so my opponent, if my opponent brings out the shuffle here, I, then you know, then I can just retreat. My opponent has escape rope, and I think Cynthia and Tate and Liza. So it lo looks like my opponent's just gonna use that Cynthia. I think my opponent might just GX attack. Hold it sticks. Be pretty good for my opponent. We'll see. Also, if you guys made it this far in the video, um, if you have anything to like ask us or want, if you want to recommend like uh, us play a deck, me or Justin, then please do leave a comment. 
because they mean a lot to us, and we also just want feedback and maybe suggestions for next videos, because we want to do what the fans want to do, you know? So. Okay, so we'll see a triple poison. Just retreat. Just Garboder. One place with Garboder. I did not expect that. I'm at about six items. So I think the point of no return is 10. 10 is my opponent's magic number. I am at 6. So that means 7 would be bad. So my opponent could KO. Like this will work. Or Lele. So I'm gonna try to refrain for that for as long as possible. Opponent has Mysterious Treasure, Brock Scrit. Opponent can probably get a Lele out. Like reuse something. So I I think two prizes here is fine. Um, I think I'm I'm fine training the the Zerua. I'm gonna hold on to the Guzma for later. Don't want to switch. So I'll just clean up. And then an interesting thing is my pump is Bench and Marshadow. So if I get Choice Band DC, I can knock it out. Which is good. So I'll just take a prize. Don't want to play into his Garboder. So there's a choice man, Guzma. So I have choice man, Guzma switch for next turn. So I can KO Marsh Shadow. And if I, even if my opponent, the choice man is really critical because even I can do that choice man, Guzma play on the Marsh Shadow. And even if my opponent like has a response, it, I'll just be at one prize card. So I think that's a play next turn, choice man, Guzma switch. But yeah, we're just gonna win the game. Hope you enjoyed this video it's a bit of a quick one um, and if you did like the video um, please do subscribe like it if you like the channel please do subscribe we upload videos every Wednesday and if you have something to say please do comment it um, hope you have a nice week and I'm signing out